I'm Sophie Sumner and I'm here in London Regent's Park in the sunshine having a picnic and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Right, so we're doing a quick fire round of questions. What is your favourite colour? Uh, pink. Designer? Uh, I really like Burberry. Music artist? I like a bit of Britney, I like a bit of the indie, like the Strokes, they're cool. Few, uh, favorite song? <laughs> favorite song? Uh, I do like that one with Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber in the video, which is like, hey, I just met you. <laughs> this is crazy, come on, let me sing along. Here's my, my number. number. <laughs> call me, baby. Favorite piece of clothing that you, that you own? Uh, I like anything lacy, I like my lace. Favorite country? Uh, Twinkle. What's that? It is a like champagne and gin and vodka. And Very alcoholic. Quite alcoholic. <laughs> it's called a Twinkle, so it's really cute. Favorite Thai meal? Ooh, Thai's my favorite. I like noodles. I eat noodles, and I like the sauces and noodles are my favorite things. If I could just live on sauces like gravy and noodles, and I love sausages. <laughs> sausages. sausages. Favorite English meal? Sausages, and I do quite like. I'm very munch, I just kind of munch my grains throughout the day. Favourite juice? I make my own juices in my juicer and I think one of my favourites actually Amy would be like an apple and pineapple type one or actually spinach, avocado and celery is also rather nice too. What about the beetroot? I like the beetroot but it does make it just a little bit earthier. I think to be honest I made a juice earlier which is, where's my juice gone? Yeah and I think I overdosed on the beetroot a little bit. It tasted like the ground. Lovely. Oh, Lovely jubbly. Lovely um, jubbly. And favourite current piece of jewellery that you've well, not actually, lost? These rings. Yay. These are really cute. My star ring and these are both from Rory. Aww. Um, your uh -oh, favourite. There's a dog coming. Just for green warning. <laughs> dun dun dun. So, Sophie. Yes, Amy. How did you get onto America's Next Top Model to start with? America's Next Top Model. I started doing Britain's Next Top Model. Um, like four or five years ago and um, they actually contacted me from America's Next Top Model and they were like oh would you come over to the States would you do it and I was kind of I was really excited but I was a little bit a little bit iffy and scared because you know it's going all the way to the States and it's a whole new thing and I'd watched it for so long on TV that it's really daunting I was like I don't know if I can stand in front of Kelly and Tyra and all these judges and but I'm I'm glad I did it very glad good good <laughs> So, have you always been a fan of America's Next Top Model? Oh my gosh. Well, actually, Amy, me and you <laughs> used to sit there and watch America's Next Top Model. So, you do know that I was a fan of it. And I just remember watching and thinking, it felt so far away. Like, because obviously, you know, it's in America, blah, blah, and it just felt like this whole kind of amazing program that was going on in the modeling world. Um, <laughs> how, did it, how did it differ from your Britain's Next Top Model experience? Um, so did you think you'd make it to the final? How did you how did you go into the competition? What was your what was your attitude, your game plan? Well, this time when I did Britons, I was quite young. I think I was more playing up to what I knew they wanted me to be in a way. Whereas this time I was like, you know what? I've got an agency in London, working well, I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna have fun. Like too competitive, I just want to have fun with it, and I did. And I'm so glad that I can walk away and be like, I had so much fun. Because you watch some of the girls, and you're like, wow, this was really stressing you out. Like this competition really got to you. But I honestly, I had the time of my life. Apart from yourself, who do you think like held it together best and sort of kept their head in the game rather than getting a bit caught up of it? I 
think Annalise. I think Annalise did so well. You know, she really enjoyed it. She was true to herself. What you see there is what you get of Annalise, which I really appreciate. I think she, I think she stuck really true to herself. I think Laura did a good job. The final edit, they, you know, they've been. I mean, what do you reckon? They've been kind of on and off with her. Yeah, I've been. They've sometimes liked her, and sometimes they've just been like, yeah. made her come across probably not as she they actually is. Exactly, and I think, I think she was really true to herself in the house, and she was probably one of the more like calmed Americans almost mm. who I think as soon as you start viewing it as a really strong competition you just get wrapped up in your own head about mm. it and it really psychs you out yeah do you know what I mean because you're like oh I've got to win I've got to win and it feels like that the only if you don't win like your life is over yeah so therefore you become quite a kind of aggressive pessimistic person um, but I think don't you reckon Annalise is wicked <laughs> she was wicked she was so funny when she did her casting she had a little hair and she was like she always used to do that she was like look at my poof 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, so it looked like the CN Tower, not CN Tower, the Japanese Tower, oh whatever gosh, it was. Macau Tower. Macau Tower was the most stressful thing. How did you manage to go outside and actually do it? It was so windy and horrible. You know what? I swear to God, that didn't give it justice what it was like. It was so windy. It was hailing. It, I think, I, I swear that the producers were like, I don't think we should go ahead of this. And I remember uh, like, no, I don't think we should go ahead. <laughs> like, no, it'd be great TV. I think you should go on. Blah, blah. It was terrifying, and I tell you, the only reason, one well, the only reasons I did it is because A, Nigel was scared of heights, and he was literally the whole time, which you, I suppose they showed a little bit on camera, but you know, we're there for like a whole day, and the whole time he was like, I'm scared of heights, we can do this, we'll do it together, you know, you're strapped in. And when you came out at the tower, there was, because some of the camera shots are from behind, so when you were like on the ledge, there was a cameraman standing on the ledge for all of us. Mm. So that was like two hours for this cameraman to be, do you know what I mean, standing there, yeah. felt like, and that he was one of the reasons I did it, I was like, if that cameraman can go stand out there, he was such a nice guy, if he can stand out there, in like, this, the hailstorm, <laughs> if he can deal with it, then I can go and do it for like, two minutes, but it was honestly, the worst. I mean, you know how much I hate her. Yeah, hate but the photo flying. was amazing. I never did really bug me, because in Elimination, they were like, couldn't you just have like, moved around a little bit, and I was like, no, <laughs> I couldn't have done anything. Can you point to your toes like you freaking kidding me? <laughs> you get up there. Um, did you find? Sorry, I've been wondering this. But did you find Jay's like direction helpful? Oh my god. Because <laughs> um, he, he was saying like let go of the rope, let go of the rope. But then in elimination, they were actually quite nice to you and didn't really say much about that. I know. I think. Do you know what? It was really funny. Sometimes Jay would say things to you on a photo shoot like that. It's my silk one photo shoot. He was like. Sophie, he sat me down, he was like, that was incredible, you did so well, I told you, because they told us to feel like really raw emotion, yeah. and like more kind of give emotion than um, than model, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a go, we're all quite emotional anyway, so we just, we just come off like a, that 24 hour flight, we hadn't slept, so I was like, really, I was so out of it, I was like, ah, still going, <laughs> yay, when normally I'd probably be a bit freaked out, they were all like, like, like woo, so like weirdly drunk on tiredness, and, and Mr. J was like, that was amazing, I'm so proud of you. And I got into an emanation and they were like, Sophie, <laughs> this is one of your worst photos. You look like you're giving too much emotion, you're not modeling. And I was like, I can't win. If Jason, you know, it was really, and that happened quite a lot. And I think it was just maybe it's Mr. Jason. Subjective. Tyron, yeah, just exactly, really subjective. And maybe they, like, you know, when someone's telling you to kind of act it and feel it, I think maybe, <laughs> did you see Catherine? Yeah, oh, bless her. <laughs> I'm oh, so sorry for her. They were like, feel it, so she just burst into tears, then they just tore it out of her. I know that elimination was her birthday. <gasps> she went on her birthday. Oh, they were my like, girl. Really like, bye, Kath, a really good birthday, love you. Oh, <laughs> that's so awful. But Mr. J, he's cool though, he was funny. He really helped me when my hair all like got bleached um, in Hong Kong. Because if anyone else has noticed that my uh, hair dye is pretty much <laughs> blonde, bright pink, light pink, blonde, <laughs> I'm pretty inconsistent and Mr. J um, he my hair they double bleached it and it fell out in places and he was really sweet and he came up off camera and like gave me loads of his own hair products and taught, like set up loads of bottled water to the room and told me not to wash my hair with it like he was really nice about it because he bleaches it all over me that's not his natural hair color <laughs> he bleaches it quite a lot that's, that's good um, your fire questions continued favourite pair of shoes you own oh I really like these ones Favorite type of dog? 
favourite type of dog, a Maltese and a Poodle. A Maltese Poo! Favourite colour dog? <laughs> um, pink. <laughs> It's quite good. I think, you know, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> colour. Favourite type of holiday? It is for West Country research, by the way. So it is for a good, good course. Beach holiday. Beach and sun. Beach and sun. Caribbean. <gasps> <laughs> um, Favourite reality TV star? Ooh. Apart from yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who do we like? I'm trying to think. I really like Desperate Housewives of Orange County. I think it's hilarious. I can't think of any reality TV shows. Like, what's her name? Vicky. You know the one that's like really like loud in everyone's face. Do you remember in Desperate Housewives of Orange County? She's the real of, housewives. She really makes me laugh. Or we have jo oh, Geordie Shore. I quite like Geordie Shore, but you guys have Jersey Snooki. Shore in America. <laughs> I don't know anything about Snooki. I've never watched it. Favorite rom com? Um, Don't Wear Prada. Babe. Girl. Oh yeah. And The Notebook. <laughs> Rom com, not very funny. Anything with Paul Rudd and <laughs> Leslie Ma 17 again. Um, knocked up. Um, 13 going on 30. 13 going on 30. Uh, <laughs> My favourite comedian would be Michael McIntyre. I quite like him, he's really funny. Who is your favourite actress? I love Rachel McAdams and Meryl Streep. I think they're amazing. Favourite male actor? Johnny. Um, your favourite America's Next Top Model, Judge. <gasps> oh, Amy, I can't do that one. I can't do that one. Um, I love them all equally. <laughs> okay, favourite guest judge? Oh, favourite guest judge. Um, Kelly Osbourne was really cool. I really liked her. She was cool off camera as well. Your favourite American meal? Chicken wings. Um, your favourite nail art? <laughs> 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 Actually, before this all brushed up, I have pink with little, like, celebrity things. That's kind of cool. When you do it with the eyeliner, you know, when you, like, trace around them. Cool. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, Sophie Sumner. Yes, baby, baby. That. <laughs> what would you like to say to all of your fans following you on America's Next Top Model? I would like to say thank you so, 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 so much. Your tweets and your messages amuse me and keep me entertained and give me a warm fuzzy feeling inside every day and I really appreciate all the support and I hope that after Tom Model you will continue to follow my journey because I will continue to tell you about it. <laughs> so I haven't got much choice there. Um, but yeah, just, just thank you everybody and all the cute little artwork and some people like do artwork and it's, it's amazing. It's do you have any special message sent to your Philippine friends? <laughs> the Philippines, you guys are great. You really keep on track of everything. Um, thank you so much for all the pages. They're <laughs> awesome. And all you dye your hair pink and stuff, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I can't wait. Amy, we're going out to the Philippines. <laughs> and then also all the other places. We'll be in America. We'll go to South Africa. India. <laughs> Indonesia. Um, these are all the people that have contacted me from board. France, Europe, and of course the UK. Woohoo! We'll be in all those places! Team this year. Sophie! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, I'm Sophie Sumner's friend Amy, and I'm the voice you heard behind all those interviews. Now, I hope you vote for her or support her in whatever she does, because me and Dorsey will, won't we? Oh. Yes! Yes, <laughs> Auntie Amy! I will support you all the time because I'm the best dog in the world! <laughs> I would like to say thank you so, 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 so much. Ah!